Welcome back folks. Today is going to be an unboxing and installation video for a set of landscaping deck lights. Now the company that sent me this, 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 this product is Garden Reed. Garden Reed sells a whole bunch of different variety of floodlights, walkway lights, the garden lights, deck lights, solar lights, and they sent me a series of deck lights, low voltage LED deck lights that I'm going to install around my patio here at the cabin. So I'm installing a set of eight lights uh, around the patio and each light is contained in its own package and it's called the Brass Deck Light G4 LB Finish. Okay, that's the one that I'm going to be installing. I have eight of these here in this box. Now, what's contained in each with each, each light? Well, first you get the LED light itself, and this is all brass construction, guys. Very heavy, very durable, very aesthetically pleasing. I like to look at these things. And you can mount them uh, such that, I'm going to mount them on the patio, mount them such that they, the light actually shines down to light the, the walkway or the deckway, uh, which is what I'm going to use here around the patio. Comes with a six foot piece of electrical cord on it. Uh, also contained in each deck like kit is the LED bulb and the LED bulb obviously gets installed inside that and the LED bulb itself is encased in a plastic or gel material and you can see for yourself here that it's all LEDs with some obviously electronics built into it and that will get installed inside each of these lights and I'll show you that process tomorrow when we do the installation. Let's put that back in the, in the container there. And in addition to that, you get a set of connection merits with each deck light. Now, these connection merits are pretty pretty cool. Well, you see the merit itself is it got a sealed end with an opening in it that your wire goes into. But inside each merit, there's silicone. So it's that when the wire goes into it and you make that connection, it actually seals it to make it watertight at the same time. So that's pretty cool. So when you can use these, when you can use these, use these connections directly outside in the weather. So it waterproofs your connection as you, when you do the install. Now, I mentioned this is a low voltage system. So you can't just plug it into any AC outlet. What you need is a isolation transformer. And Garden Reek has also sent me the isolation transformer for this system. The transformer itself will plug into a 120 volt AC system, but inside here, and I haven't got taken apart yet, I'll show you this tomorrow when we do the install, is that we'll make, we will connect a cable from the tra isolation transformer all the way around my patio, and then we will, this of course is a low voltage transformer, so it will be, work, it will be providing 12 volts to each light. Then we will splice each light into this cable that runs around the patio, the perimeter of the patio, using the merits, of course. So that's a simple system in my mind. Uh, should be fairly straightforward install. We will be going, uh, I will be taking you through that install process tomorrow. Right now, I want to talk about some of the features of the uh, Garden Reap uh, lighting systems. I mentioned already these are solid brass, very durable, very aesthetically pleasing, and I guess I gotta say I like to look at this. Uh, it's gonna look great in my application here. Uh, they are waterproof containers to the standard of IP65. Uh, and and I noticed I want to take the take these apart. There's actually a rubber oil ring in around here, stops uh, prevents water from getting into the system, so that's very good. Uh, it's nice sealed glass here on the on the on the unit itself too, so it should be it should be a, look like a quality product. We'll say that uh, you can use these in a wide variety of applications. I'm going to use them around my patio, but they, according to the website, people can use them as a deck light under steps, lighting walkways, and so on. And they they offer a, a bunch of other lights, floodlights and stuff on their website that uh, uh, lighting solutions for gardens and stuff. Uh, Safe and energy efficient. I mentioned already that we're using they're using LED bulbs in here, uh, so it makes it uh, very energy efficient and uh, cheap to operate. And 
the, the claim is that it's easy to install. Any homeowner or DIYer can uh, easily install the system, just uh, mounting them, splicing it into the main wire, uh, and so on. Uh, now, I'm not an electrician, and if you're not comfortable with that, then probably get an electrician to come and hook it up for you, but I'm uh, fairly confident that I can, confident, sorry, that I can install the system here in my own home location, and I'll show you that install tomorrow. So stay tuned. Uh, I want to thank Garden Reed for providing me with the system, and we will go through the install uh, and see how it works uh, later on tomorrow. So folks, uh, I mentioned that you get to install the LED lights into each of the uh, deck lights. So this cover actually rotates and you rotate it there's two tabs that line up and then you can take the cover off like so and inside you'll see the connections for the led light i mentioned that these are ip65 waterproof watertight all right go, well, waterproof to ip65 standard sorry about that inside each light there is a rubber gasket that goes around the perimeter of the cover and to install the bulb basically all we do is and this is an LED bulb that's encased in this soft gel material. Is that the each connector has a couple of holes in it there, and you insert the bulb. And don't matter which way the, which connector is which, which hole you line it up. Insert the bulb into the connector, like so. It goes in flush. And there you go, your bulb is inserted. Now this rubber gasket goes in around the perimeter here. And then you take your cover. And these, these are their whole their tabs here or spaces here. Line up the cover like so with the tabs. And once you get in flush, give it a twist. And there you go. Now it's locked in place. So now you have the bulb, if you can see that there, the bulb is now inside and the cover is closed and there's a watertight connection. So as simple as that, to install the bulb in each of the uh, low voltage LED deck lights. So I'll do this now for the remaining seven lights and we'll get them all ready for installation tomorrow. Welcome back folks. It is the next morning, it's early in the morning, but uh, we're going to get this uh, the uh, LED deck light system by uh, Garden Reet installed today. Just want to take a few moments to talk about the uh, isolation transformer. This transformer is uh, regulated, it can be mounted outside. Uh, I'm actually going to mount it underneath the crawl space of my cabin area just to give it that bit more protection from the weather, but it is uh, supposed to be able to be mounted outside in a uh, sh sort of sheltered location. So the transformer itself so basically take the cover off it here. And you see it's got a rubber seal on it to keep water out. And inside we have connections. If you see it here we have the common 12 volt 15 volt. This transformer provides two levels of voltages. Uh, the lights that we will be installing today are 12 volt lights so we will be using the 12 volt and the common connection on here. It has a built-in uh, connector for an external photo cell plug. I don't have a photo cell plug with the system that I have here so uh, we won't be using that and this jumper cable is just there in place to uh, bypass that function. Uh, so basically it's a photo cell switch can be plugged in here to activate your lights when the, it gets dark in the nighttime. Uh, there's an on off switch here, turns this transfer power on and off to the transformer. But it also has a built in timer, and this is pretty cool because you can set up set it up such that your lights come on, uh, I don't know, 8 o'clock at night and go off again at 11 o'clock or whatever, whatever time you want to set. So once you plug this unit in, and it plugs into an AC uh, plug uh, and into a, a GFI protective plug because we are putting it outside. Uh, I'm going to put it in my crawl space. I do have a GFI plug installed in the crawl space so I can be plugging it directly in there. Gives you another level, added level of protection. But yeah, back to the timer. The timer is in here and you can rotate the timer, set it to the time of day that you want to, uh, the current time of day, line up with the arrow. And then you can turn these switches on and off to, to indicate when the, to control when the power is 
com uh, comes on and off for the for your lights. So you get again, you can set it up to so your lights come on a certain time during the day. Uh, I haven't figured out if on means down yet or on means up, but I'll get to that now uh, later on when we do the install. So that's the isolation transformer, folks. Um, got knockouts in it for putting your cables up through and so on. Um, but yeah, it, this will be mounted outside in my crawl space, and uh, we'll get to that uh, later on this afternoon. Morning, folks. Beautiful morning. Now we're uh, going to start to uh, install this uh, garden reed deck LED deck lights. And you can see from the what I have set up here that I'm going to put a light on each post, and I'm going to put the last one out there actually by the walkway inside of the uh, patio there. So yeah, I got got it all laid out here for now. For now, and what it's going to be is basically. Give me a second here, folks. Okay, basically, each light is going to be mounted as such. See that there? Adjust the camera. Okay, each light is going to be mounted as such, and the cable is just going to run down under the patio. I'm going to do some cable management with that. I'll tuck the cable away, stapled onto the post on the outside, and then each light will be on the associated post going around the patio. I'll have the main power line coming from my crawl space under the cabin and it'll run along all on underneath all the patio and I'll splice, do all my splices under each post uh, as I do the install. So that's what we're doing today and uh, let's get at it. Should be a fairly simple process. Just need to get it done. Okay, folks, I'm so just testing the transformer, trying to confirm these uh, settings for the uh, the uh, timer switch. If, the, if it's up or down for the uh, for the uh, little switches that are on there. And right now, it appears that that switch works by having all those switches down and powers on the, on the unit. I have this the main switch on, and you can see I got 12 volts AC on the 12 volt connector. And if I go over to the 15 volt one, get a good connection there. There we go, 16 volts actually on that. So it's a little bit higher than, but the, it's just, it's, it's, it powers there. So if I turn the switch off, obviously zero volts on either terminal. So yeah, so that's how the transformer works. The uh, switch is in the down position. You can have them up, but if they're in the down position, that means the power, the timer is, that's when the power timer is on, okay? All right, so. Let's get this installed and uh, get the uh, get the rest of the lights installed. So, folks, I've installed the transformer in the crawl space. I've ran the wire in through here, drilled a little hole uh, inside there. And this is the main cable. I got laid it on the ground right now. I just want to give you a, a close up of how we connect up each light. Now, I haven't got the light mounted yet, but uh, this is going to go up on the post that you just saw there earlier. So what I have to do, I have to splice this into the line. So first thing I have to do is cut the line. Now there's no power on this, guys. All the, everything's unplugged inside. I just confirmed all that. So I just cut this wire here. Like so. Now I have to splice the three of these together. Okay, that's the remaining cable that's going under the patio. This is the one that's coming directly from the transformer. So I have to splice these wires together. So you notice on the light, there's one side of the wire has printed text on it, the other side, the same thing on the main cable. Now in the transformer, this piece with the uh, text on it is connected to my common, so I'm going to make sure I keep all that uh, consistent throughout my connection. So all the sides that have the writing on it will be connected together, spliced together, and the other side will be, the other half will be spliced accordingly, uh, spliced accordingly. So first thing we do now, is you have to separate these wires a bit. So we'll cut down the middle of the connector here, the cable, spread it apart, and there's lots on this now for uh, twisting in. And so, so we'll put that one side for now. Do the same thing on the cable connections. Spread them apart. Got the coating, wire strippers. So 
well, give it a twist. And find the other side of the coast. The wire here, do the same thing. And give it a twist. Okay, so like I said, all the, the, the sides would have the writing on it. I will splice together, so I will splice these two together along with the one on the light that has the writing on it. And that one is this guy on the outside here. So put the three of those together. Writing there, writing there. This one has the writing. And just twist them together, like so. And do the same thing for the other side. Splice the three wires together. So, third one, splice those together. Now repeat that for every light along the way. So now once you have your wires spliced together, and this is going to be all tucked in underneath, guys. I want to connect everything up first to make sure everything's working before I go ahead and tuck everything away for the final installation. So I mentioned these merits last night. They have a silicone gel in the inside. So basically you take your marit, put it, push the wire on, and keep twisting until it goes tight. The marit will tighten up on the wire. Like so. And you can see the gel actually coming out around the wire there now. Um, making it watertight, waterproof. And it tightens up on the nut just like that. So that's tight there now. Do the same thing for the second one. Push the wire in. And keep twisting until it gets into the connector inside. So yeah. So two wire nuts are now on. There we go. That is tight there now. Nice tight connection on the both wire nuts. And there we go. So there you go, guys. That is your wired connection. Now I'm going to tuck this in underneath and continue on that way. So I will repeat this process for all the lights in the uh, in the string. I'll splice it into the main cable. Once I get it all connected up, I'm going to test it. Then I'll, uh, then I'll tidy it all up, put it all away the way I want it for the final installation. So uh, once I get back, get everything all hooked up, guys, I'll get back to you. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, so I got all the connections made. Nothing is tidied up here yet, but every light is connected. All spliced in properly to the wiring. A lot of merits have been applied, like so. See all along here. And I get once I test this now, I'll tuck it all up underneath, and make it nice and neat. But yeah, so all the lights are hooked up. So right now, I'm going to go turn on the power, plug in the transformer, make sure they're all working before I go ahead and tidy everything up, get it all in place. Okay, folks, you can see power is now on. And let's go check out every light. So one, two, three, four five six the corner here seven and eight yes so everything is working as per normal so that's good this means all my connections are good so the next step is to uh, tidy it all up mount the lights up on the post and wait for darkness to bring it back when I get it all tidied up folks So folks, I mentioned I'm putting each light up here on the post, like this, underneath the uh, cap. And all I need to do to install them here is to use a couple of wood screws, put them in place. Second here now. I'll put one right up, and it's written right on the container, guys, top, up, up here. So I'll put one right there. Okay. 
like so. Hold on to the O-ring, I'll lose that. And I'll put the second one on the bottom here. And even though it is brass, guys, I want to make sure I don't cut too tight here. And the wire, I'll just tuck it around and run it down there with a few staples and make it nice and neat when I'm ready. You guys, I put the O-ring in place. Like so. Take your cover, line up the two tabs, like so, and twist. And there you go, your light is installed. Now I'll fix this cable as we go along when I tidy up uh, rest in, after this later this afternoon. So I'll repeat this now seven more times for the other posts. And once I get it all done, I'll get so back folks, to folks, it turned out to be a fantastic day. And uh, I got all the uh, lights installed, all the wiring nice and neat and tidied up now. So I'll give you a look at that in a second. So as I mentioned, guys, I got all the lights installed, all nice and neat. And you can see that there's light on them right now. I have power on the system. Uh, the true test will be tonight when I get them, give them a try. You can see they're all nice and neat along the rails. Installation is complete. And... Uh, I like them. They are very nice, very durable, easy to install, folks. And I love this brass. I gotta say, I love this color. This is this is very nice. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see how they perform now when it gets dark. Right now, I just gotta put away my tools, and I'll catch up with you guys after dark. Thanks again to Garden Reet. I love the product, and look forward to seeing them when the dark when it gets dark. So guys, this is the patio before, and a few lights shining out from the cabin. But yeah, essentially, it's pretty dark. So uh, let's give it a try now with the lights on. Okay, folks, so I turned on the transformer downstairs. And this is the patio with the lights on. Quite a difference. Certainly enhances the look of the patio. And I like it a lot, I gotta say. Very pleasing. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. <clears throat> Thank you, Garden Reet. Uh, it's a great product, easy to install. Looks quite durable. And it gets, when it shows off like this, very aesthetically pleasing. I like it a lot, guys. All right. This is gonna make the patio that much better, guys. Check out Garden Reek, guys. The website uh, is in the description. And go check them out. they got some great products.